that, that are standing by on the street were part of the original contingent of uh, fire personnel that were called to this home. With this, they're saying that the fire department crews were sent into this residential area to render medical aid, and uh, as you can see, they are still there. It would almost appear like the SWAT team is going in to clear the house. Yeah, that's what it appears. Uh, we haven't seen anyone come out of the house just yet, um, and we're not seeing any action. Uh, we see one officer there behind the Bearcat just standing by. I uh, just want to reiterate now as we're all watching this together that this is all because of something that happened earlier. A Riverside County Sheriff's deputy shot in some type of confrontation, possibly some sort of domestic situation we're assuming happening in this neighborhood at this house in Lake Elsinore. That officer has been taken to Inland Valley Hospital and we're still waiting to hear any kind of a condition right now. We uh, did have a uh, video coming in from the hospital and Colleen, you were mentioning that the officers seemed rather frantic. Of course, they would be in any situation. They're wanting to know also how this officer is doing. Uh, you know, we've been talking about it being Lake Elsinore. We're getting more uh, specific information on the neighborhood. This is actually Lakeland Village. Um, this is a residential area here in the uh, uh, 18,000 block of Hilldale. It's just east of Grand, and that's where we saw our Tony Shin earlier in the afternoon. Uh, once again, the deputy, we, we do not have us, but uh, uh, he was taken to the hospital at about 5.30. This originally went down, they say, came in as a domestic uh, call or a domestic violence call at about 4.30 this afternoon. It is now 6 o'clock. Theme for us. Uh, but we want to get out to this breaking news. I believe we have Tony Shin available for us as well. Uh, just to reiterate, a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy has been shot at the scene here in Lake Elsinore, taken to the hospital. We do know that suspect is in custody. We can see a search going on here on the ground right now with officers using a flashlight as they go around the back of this home. And we understand, Colleen, this is where the disturbance call originated from. Uh, Roland, are you with us right now? I'm so, still here, Colleen. Okay, what can you tell us about what you're seeing? Well, so far, uh, as you just uh, reported, uh, the search uh, has been conducted in much of the house, and I, I can't imagine that that took a whole lot of time because there, there was quite a uh, cadre of uh, SWAT officers that made entry into this house. And as, as I pull out of the shot here, I mean, that, that may be a, 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 a four or 5,000 square foot house, but with all those officers, uh, I'm sure they were able to clear that pretty quickly and then proceed outside uh, to search outside and, and we just saw they were searching up underneath a tarp and, and some other materials uh, that were up there. I'm see if, if I can brighten this shot up uh, without losing any quality but nonetheless they are searching the perimeter of the house as well. Uh, I don't see any officers. Okay there they are right there on the other side and it, this looks to be like a boat or perhaps a trailer and uh, we have seen in uh, barricaded situations over the years where individuals will hide sometimes outside uh, in a boat that's at the end they're looking appreciate there's tony shin you learned well i haven't gotten a lot of information except for the fact that uh the staging area right now for law enforcement is right here at Lakeland Village Schools. Now, this is maybe a block away, just around the corner from, from where the actual shooting took place. I will tell you this, that I don't know if you can see in the distance, there are a lot of sheriff's deputies out here, also California Highway Patrol. This was a tremendous response by law enforcement all over uh, Southern California coming from all different directions. I think we have some video that maybe we can show you that I shot when I was actually heading south on the 15 uh, at Clinton Keith Road. I had just gotten word from the assignment desk that there had been a deputy involved shooting nearby. So I was, I was stuck at that intersection because uh, CHP as well as Riverside County Sheriff's deputies, they basically blocked off 
uh, that road. Uh, later on, I found out that uh, they did that because they were trying to get the deputy to Inland Valley Medical Center as soon as possible. So they basically cleared the road uh, starting from Grand Avenue, which is just to my left. They headed south uh, until they got to Clinton Key. And from there, they just whizzed by me doing 60, 70 miles an hour. And understandably, they were trying to get the deputy there. From what I understand, uh, according to a sheriff's source, that the uh, when uh, this shooting happened, another deputy did not want to waste any time. And that deputy actually...